What's going on guys? It's your boy Baby Broly back at it with another video and today we have another pack opening for y'all. Before I begin the video, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already and be sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoy the video and be sure to hit your post notifications so that way you guys are not missing anything when I upload. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. So right here we have three Invasion of Chaos packs from Walmart, I believe, and we have two Feral Servants and five Ignition Assaults. And of course, we have our grand old Eternity Code Booster Packs as we are still chasing for that Starlight Rare. So hopefully we can pull it in this video. We are still chasing it, so we're, we're chasing it real hard. And uh, hopefully we can end up pulling that uh, that elusive Starlight Rare. So. Like I said, let's go ahead and get straight to the opening. We're gonna start off with, uh, we're gonna start off with an Invasion of Chaos pack, just to, just to kickstart the video, and hopefully we can pull something good. If we can pull an Emperor's Dragon or a Black Luster Soldier, that would be insane. So let's get to it. As some of you guys might already know, these packs do contain one booster pack, two rares, and eight commons. All right, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and reveal the cards that it comes with. We got Fortune Lady Rewind, Starboy as our rare, Mandred Anima, Super Team Buddy Force Unite, Goki Face Turn, Dino Wrestler, Sistego Soar, Edge Imp Cotton Eater, Goki Pole, White Stingray, Dealer's Choice, and that is the last and final card. Let's go ahead and open our beautiful Invasion of Chaos Legacy Pack. These packs are, like they're not, they're just the reprints, but they still give you a sense of nostalgia when you open these packs. So here we go. Let's see if we can pull that BLS or that Emperor's Dragon. So let's get it. We got Gigantus, Chaos Sorcerer, Another Gigantus. Look at that, guys. We got. Why would you? Why would you give us duplicates in a booster pack? That's hardly, you know, that hardly happens. But hey, whoever was packaging this was not paying attention. So we got another Gigantus, Gora Turtle of Illusion, and a Curse of Darkness as our rare. Right behind that, we got Spatual Collapse, Lord Poison, Thunder Crash, and Chopman. The Desperate Outlaw. All right, guys. Since we have more Eternity Code than anything else, we're gonna go ahead and start opening these up first. And hopefully we can pull a Starlight Rare. That'll be crazy. All right, start off. I'm not gonna name all of these cards. We've already gone through these cards plenty of times. So we're just gonna go ahead and fly through this. And a Malice, Lady of Lamb as our super. Okay, next pack of Eternity Code. All right. And a the arrival of Cybers adding Nister. Okay. You got another super free guys. Parallel Exceed, not a bad pull. Actually one of the best commons in the in the set. Alright, we're gonna open up another Eternity Code. Then so we'll probably open up uh, an Ignition Assault right after this one. Rose Girl. Okay, so we have yet to pull an Ultra. We pulled all Super Rare so far. All right, let's go ahead and test our luck with Ignition Assault. With Ignition, with Ignition Assault, I know there are a few Starlight Rares we can get, one of them being the prestigious Lightning Storm. If we can pull that card, that would be insane. Even if it wasn't a Starlight Rare, if we can pull it in an Ultra, I'll be totally satisfied with that. Shiny Black Sea, Danya Robo, Eyeshadow, and Ancient Warriors, Graceful Zogong, and we got that card. I'm not gonna read it, guys, but we got that card as a super. All right, Time Thief, 
Karakuri Gamma, MDL, we got Condolence Puppet, and Megalith Bethor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and continue into our Eternity Code. This seems, this seems to be like our favorite set right now. It's just because they're just so much easier to get. So I've, I've you know, had plenty of opportunities to get it. And uh, Invoked Inguidus. Inguidus. I've never been able to say this card. Okay. All right. Like I was saying, um, getting Eternity Code is just a lot easier to get than any other pack. So obviously, uh, I'm gonna be able to get as many of these as possible to try to pull that elusive Starlight Rare. And, ooh, Lofter, Shadow of the Generator Blossom. So there you go. There goes our first Ultra Rare within Petco. And then here's the rest of our cards. If you guys actually want to see these uh, Eternity Code pulls, like individually with me flying through them, I do have plenty of other videos before this on my channel that has me opening up a full Eternity Code booster pack. So definitely go check those out if you guys are interested in seeing what this set consists of. Trap Tricks, Alomaris, there it goes, all right. Second Ultra Rare, that's awesome, look at this. This is a beautiful card. I think you can get this in a Starlight Rare as well. So there goes our second Ultra Rare, another Parallel XC. And then there you go, our last three cards. We're gonna open up like another Eternity Code Booster Pack, and then we're gonna move on to probably another Ignition Assault, and then possibly one, one pack of the Feral Servant. So here we go. Car, Generator Boss of Storms. I've actually managed to pull this card plenty of times, so this card is nowhere near short printed. I'm gonna have a whole, I probably already have like nine sets of the Hars. All right, let's open up like a, an Ignition Assault. See what kind of, see what kind of uh, love this pack is gonna give us. All right, here we go, guys. We got, oh, Squeak Knight. Eyeshadow, Megalith Emergence, Transicata, and Plunder Patrol Shipyard. And behind that, we got Megalith Ophio. Beautiful card. All right, so there goes our second super rare within Ignition Assault. We got Late Party, Feed Ran, The Winds of Mischief, and Megalith Och, or Ock. All right, guys, let's open up a Pharaoh Servant. Maybe we can pull a Jinzo, who knows. These are not first edition, unfortunately, but if we can pull a Jinzo, I think it'll make up for it. Here we go, guys. Jinzo, let's make it happen. Shadow of Eyes. Harpy's Brother. Attack and Receive. Bubonic Vermin. And Prohibition, okay. In Siberia or Barrier, 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 what, what am I doing? Mystic Probe, Deep Sea Warrior, and Wing Weaver. Good old classic cards. So no gems in that pack. Let's move back into our Eternity Code. Slowly chasing that Starlight. In all honesty, when you open this pack up and you just look from the side, if, it, if you see any kind of shininess, you already know you pull the Starlight, so it's kind of a spoiler. So I'm trying to avoid, you know, showing the side as much as possible. Just in case we end up pulling a star library. Oh, sorry guys. We got Area, the Water Charmer Gentle. Very nice card. We got Goki Guts. And our last remaining three cards right there. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep the momentum up. Go guys, send me that luck. We got Proxy F to start off. 
Axis Code Talker, guys. We just pulled our third Axis Code Talker, guys. Holy crap. Guys, you know, I, I just posted on my Instagram literally a day ago uh, showboating my two Axis Code Talkers, and I did caption it that, you know, I just needed one more to complete the set. And look, look what the Yu Gi Oh! gods gave us. They gave us another Axis Code Talker. Super stoked about that. Look at that. Oh man. Axis Code Talker definitely loves me, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep that bad boy up. Look at that. Very beautiful. I cannot be mad about that. I think this card's still going for about $60 to $70. So, no complaints here if I can pull the Axis Code Talker. The more the merrier. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue. That's awesome. All right, here we go. And Armor Bitron is our super. I think if there's one card that's evading me right now, it's Gursu. Like, I am needing Gursu to at least complete my Echo set um, of secrets. But that card is literally just evading me at all costs to include all the Starlight Rares. So here we go, we got Pinpoint Dash. Okay. All right. And it get Cheery at Ignister. Let's open up one more pack of uh, Eternity Code and move on to our other packs. Probably open up another Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. Witchcrafter unveiling. Very nice. All right, let's open up one of our Invasion of Chaos blister packs. Blister packs have not been very kind to me, so hopefully we can get some luck today out of these. Okay, so we got Metamorphos Metamorphortress as an ultra, nice. E Egotistical Ape. Kinetic Soldier, Wabaku, ooh, that's a clean index that's coming from um, uh, Star Deck Yugi right there. That's nice. Familiar Possessed, Swallowtail, Overlay Eater, Heretic Seal of the Dragon King, At Traffic Control, and Dash Warrior. Very nice. Very nice for being additional cards within the pack. You can see a little crimping right here. All right, guys, let's see what we can pull. All right, start off, we got Inferno. The Thing in the Crater. Stealth Bird. Blazing Impachi. And a Curse of Darkness. I could have sworn we just pulled this, didn't we? I don't know, I'm not about to look through my pile, but there goes our rare. We got Terra King Salmon, Pajama Delta, Hurricane and a soul absorption. Oh, and there was one right behind it too, sorry. Kinda got stuck to that soul absorption. We got uh, Granadora. There you go. All right, so no luck with our IOC packs. Let's open an Ignition Assault. Here we go. Megalith Emergence. Chrono Mally, Tusper Rocket, Transicata again, Durama Dropper, and uh, Baruru at Ignister in the Sea. Ooh! Sky Striker Ace Rose. You definitely could pull this in a Starlight Rare as well, but getting it as an Ultra is actually pretty nice. Look at that. I don't know if it's worth anything, but you know, still a beautiful card nonetheless. So there goes our Ultra Rare within our IA pack, here we go. We got Water Leviathan, Link Party, and Obsessive Uva Loop. Uva Loop, something like that. <laughs> oh guys, here we go, here we go. What else can we pull from our Eternity Code? We got IQ, Deep Sea Minstrel, Pinpoint Dash, Perform Pal, Turn Trooper, and a 
Nemesis Flag. Okay. Nemesis Flag, Lantern Shark. And our last three remaining cards. There goes another Returning Code Bushback. We have one more left after this. Let's go. Heart of the Cards. And Nemesis Umbrella. Okay. So here we go. We got our last remaining packs. We got our IOC, Peril Servant, Attorney Code, and two Ignition Assault. So we're going to go ahead and open this one up so we can leave one left. This one feels kind of thick, guys. I don't know. I might get an Ultra in this one at least. Here we go. Cataclysmic. All right, I cannot read today. Karakuri Keshin, matching outfits, an ancient warrior's eccentric Lu Jing, and Utgarda Generator Boss of Delusions. So we did not get an Ultra like I thought. This just felt a lot thicker than it usually does. All right, we got Kikuri, Bonds, MDL, Megalith, Ach, and Kikuri, Gamma, MDL. Four, six, two, four. So here goes our remaining packs. We're gonna leave our two legacy packs last. Of course, we're gonna open up another Eternity Code push pack, another one. Here we go. Crimson Resonator, Goldilocks the Battle Landscaper, Codebreaker Virus Berserker, Ancient Warriors, and Heavy Forward. As our ultra, very nice, very very nice. All right, we got Red Familiar, Nemesis Adrastia, Ancient Warriors Saga, and Ancient Warriors Fearsome Zhang Yuan. Last pack of Ignition Assault. Let's go Lightning Storm. Can we pull Lightning Storm? Let's get it. Crown Alley Tusker Rocket, Resurgum Exis. Dino Robo, Ancient Warrior Saga, Defense of Changban, and Megalith Aratron. Time Thief Startup, Head Judging, Dragon Maid Send Off, and Obsessive Uvaloop. So, no Lightning Storm today, guys. That's okay. Here we go. PSV. Let's see if PSV can give us something, at least, to end this video. Here we go. We got World Suppression, Sword Hunter, The All Seeing White Tiger, Beast of Tall War, yo! Oh my gosh, Deja Vu. Oh my gosh, guys. A Beast of Tall War. This is super Deja Vu for me because, oh man. Wow. I forgot this card even existed, wow. I remember having like three copies of this when I was a kid and I definitely ran it in my deck. Oh man, this is beautiful. Wow, I got I gotta sleeve this up guys. And then we got a mad sword beast right there. Oh man, beast of tall war. That's a good pull. I am super happy with that pull. Oh man. Guys, this is nice. I'm so glad they, they reprinted this. Wow, that is a beautiful card. So much nostalgia. We got Mad Sword Beast, Ground Collapse, Major Riot, Deep Sea Warrior, and Numinous Healer. Wow, guys, I'm super stoked about that Tall War. Wow. That is a classic. Wow. You know, I didn't, I didn't have as much faith in these new Legacy Packs. So that one definitely kind of changed my mind. We got Meta Morphotris. <laughs> Meta Morphotris. Meta Morphotris. There you go. The tongue twister for y'all. Nightmare Mermaid. Goki Headbat. The Accumulator. Link Infra Flyer. Sword of Dragons. Capacitor Stalker. FA Pit, Pit Stop. Crawler Ranvier. And Link Restart. It's good to see these these extra cards because they give you a bunch of old cards from time to time. Like I would like to see an, an um, what's that trap card? Reinforcement. That's a classic card. Or castle walls. I'm sure some of you old school 
Yu-Gi-Oh collectors and duelers remember those cards. I haven't yet to see any of those. Like seeing Wabuku for the first time, that was definitely a blast from the past. Um, but I'd like to see some some old old school cards like reinforcement and castle walls and all those other cards. Butterfly dagger. Oh, that's a good card as well. Alright, we got Jade Insect Whistle. Another Chaos Sorcerer. Didi Borderline. Burning Algae and Robin Zombie. Robin Zombie. Chaos Sand, Terry King Salmon, and Chaos Necromancer and uh, Spatula Collapse. So no Emperor Dragon and no Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, but that's okay. We had some great pulls nonetheless. Let's recap what we've pulled. I'm gonna go ahead and of course, first things first, we have our Axis Cold Talker, which is never a bad pull. I don't know why it's not focusing, but here you go. Axis Cold Talker, Secret Rare, not a bad pull at all. Probably one of the best Secret Rares in Eternity Code, so we got that. And then we got our two Ultra Rares out of Eternity Code, Lopter Shadow of the Generator Bosses and Trap Tricks Alamaris. And we also have two, oh wait, here's our, here's our other uh, Ultra Rare. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> and then we got a Sky Striker Rose. I have yet to pull a Sky Striker Rose, Ace Rose. So this is the first copy that I've acquired. So that's a great pull. And we also, of course, our nostalgic Beast of Tall War. Very happy with that pull. I'm, I'm probably happier with this pull than any other pull in this video, just because this card actually brings back so many memories and uh, it's always good to pull a card that brings back memories because it's just a lot more fulfilling, um, you know, to, to, to pull is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, that's gonna end the video guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoy this. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to smash that notification bell. Smash that. Hit that notification bell as well so that way you guys are not missing anything when I upload. As always, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love that you guys continue to give me. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram, official. That's my Instagram handle, so make sure you guys follow me on there as well. I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways on there as well as on here on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. Till the next video, guys. I love you guys. Peace.